This is the story of five people who are trapped in a room and must solve riddles and complete a few tasks. Many unusual things happen to them. What issues will they confront? And will they be able to leave? And how? We will know this today. As the movie starts, we see a man sitting in a car going on vacations on weekend with his daughter. His daughter was named Karen, and she was upset with her father because of something, as she wasn't happy to sit with her dad. But he tries to talk to her to fix her mood while talking to her, so that she will not get bored and her weekend spend well. During travel, their car damages, so they take it to the garage nearby and gives their car to the mechanic to repair. Now, because they were hungry, so they sit there and start eating. Karen's dad says we will get the car in the evening until then. We'll find something to do this evening to make the most of our weekend. He starts reading the newspaper to find this place's specialty, where they can go and spend quality time. Her father tells her many options, but she refuses. Later, her dad tells her about escape room. This is a room where a few people will be sent and a game will be played with them. That means a few tasks will be given and they can leave while completing them. A few puzzles are also included in them. Means this escape room is exactly like a game. Hearing about the escape room, Karen says yes. Father, this is fine because my friends have played such kinds of games and they enjoyed it a lot. We will also go there and we'll play a game in the escape room. On it, her father calls the waitress and asks about the escape room, but she says no, don't go there because whoever went there never returned. Hearing this, both father and daughter get panicked but the waitress laughs the next moment and says, I was just kidding. Do visit there. You will enjoy it. After it, Karen went to the washroom because there was something on her clothes when her father was cleaning the car. Meanwhile, the lights on the washroom start blinking and she hears strange voices from the next door washroom. Someone was trying to open the door. Seeing this, Karen panics and was about to open the door of the washroom, but then the waitress comes out of the nearby washroom. Meanwhile, Karen's father calls her and she leaves. Later, they reach the escape in a rented car, the place where they will play a game. The place where the building was made was deserted and the building was also old. They move inside and Karen's father says, is there anyone? And a girl comes in front and says, welcome. I am the host of this game. She takes them to a room. There were three others except for them who come to participate in this game. The girl among them says, my name is Melanie and I come here with my husband, but he didn't want to come, and I bring him forcefully. A boy was also sitting there. Meanwhile, the host brings strange tea for them, and it was hot, but Kara's father feels something is wrong with this tea, so he thinks before having it and doesn't let Karen have it, but he take it when others have it. The host gives them the agreement papers and asks them to sign. It was written that they have come here on their own, will if any incident happens to anyone. He or she will be responsible, not us. Then she takes their mobiles, because this was the rule of their game, that none will contact anyone while keeping the cell, and none can't make video of this place. She shows them a video of an inventor through a projector. She says this inventor has made this weird house, but after that, strange incidents started happening here. What was here? Why was all this happening? Five people came here to find out, but they got stuck here, and after it, they got missing, and we didn't discover anything about them. Now this game will be played with you, like you have to go to another room while opening the lock of a room and then to the next room. But do remember the keys to the lock to each room is present in that room and you will get that key after solving a few puzzles. You have a time of an hour to do all this, but during this, if you feel like we are making fun of you and you feel insane, so just say, wake up, you will be taken out. The lights there were off after telling all this and when Melanie turned on the light, the game host left. After it, the doors of this room close and they stand up immediately to leave. They start finding the clues everywhere to find the key. They find many strange and precious ancient things. Melanie's husband finds this place worse and he says, in what problem have we stuck? Don't know when we will be free. Melanie says, it's just a matter of an hour. So hurry up, leave all this and find the clue. Karen finds a tape and when the doctor plays it, a song plays and there were the names of different animals and they start searching while listening to the animal song, they find the masks of different animals. Karen sets them in a row according to the song as the masks set in a row. A window opens. There, there was a locker inside. Having a number lock on it means now to unlock the locker, they have to find numbers from the room. 
During this, Melanie's husband wears the snake mask, but when he sees his hand, there were small snakes moving in his hand and there was a shadow of a lady. Seeing this, he gets scared and removes the mask while saying, I think there was something in the tea because I am feeling scared of the things I have seen on it. The doctor says, don't think too much. This place is like this. That's why you have seen weird things and saying this. He picks up the lamp and turns it on. As the light turns on, they see the numbers written on the mask. They were shining because of the light. They place the numbers on the lock and it opens. They find a key inside it. They take the key and open the lock. As they open the lock, they move into the other room. The door of the room closes automatically when they open the lock. Now they have 50 minutes, which they get to know from the timer there, because there were a lot of clocks and strange machine-like things in this room. Melanie picks up the phone, but when she starts talking, she hears her own voice. She tells this to everyone and then dials the number and starts talking to herself. Melanie on the phone asks her to give the phone to her husband, but first he refuses to talk. And when he talks to her, when they all insist, she says, run away from here. You have to run away, otherwise you may be killed. Hearing this, as he places the receiver and sees small insects on it, they moved inside his ear because his ear was bleeding. He gets scared and says, I can't tolerate the strange things here. He says, I am leaving. Even others make him understand that this is being done to mislead us. But he says, you guys are mad, so play this game and I'm leaving. Saying this, he knocks at the door and starts saying, wake up, loudly. The door opens as this happens and he's taken out from there. The door was closed immediately as he left. The doctor says to everyone, I think we should also leave this place is strange and real, and I am not feeling good. Melanie says, what is happening to us? We are just playing a game. Let's play the game and we'll leave when the game completes. Karen's dad sees a typewriter there and he tells others about it, that it was a typing machine of the old era, but they don't know what they have to write here. Karen notices a clock isn't working and it is showing the time, 12 minutes to 10 o'clock. They set the frequency signal of 1012 in the radio, according to the clock, and they hear an old man's voice saying something in English. Karen's dad writes those words on the typewriter due to it. A line is written there, which means 55 minutes to 11 o'clock. Karen sets this time on the clock. Stop there. 55 minutes to 11 o'clock means five minutes to strike 12. Doing this, their riddle solves and they get a key. They try to open the doors with the help of the key, but the lock of a storeroom like cupboard opens. Many clothes were hung inside and smelled bad. Karen starts checking this place, but someone holds her hand and it discovers that was the game's host who was in a worse condition. Someone has stabbed her with a knife and left her here to die. She was bleeding and says the inventor had come here and he can do anything because he is insane. So find the master key immediately and leave from here. It is better for you otherwise. It will be bad for you. The door closes when she finishes talking. They all get scared except for Melanie because she says, don't take it seriously because she was just acting as this is also a part of our game. Well, she has done very well. On it, Karen's dad becomes furious and says she wasn't pretending. It seemed true, and now I'm going to end it all here, saying this. He knocks the door and starts saying, wake up. During this, Melanie stops him, but it was useless because none opened the door, which means they are now stuck here. The inventor has come here in real. He attacked the game host and left her there to die, and now he wants to end them too. They also understand that there isn't any key to move out of this room. There was only a way to move out, and that was a small window upside the door. They can do something while moving to the other side, but none could go to the other side except for Karen, because it was a small place, and only Karen could pass through it, because she was thin. She says, I'll go, but her father refuses to go, but then agrees when she insists. Now she climbs up with the help of her dad and the doctor, and safely comes to the other side. There were many doors, and Karen tries to open them, but they were locked. Meanwhile, she sees a girl pass from there, and she sees her shadow. That girl asks Karen to move behind her. She does the same and move behind her without thinking anything. Karen's father was worrying about his daughter. That's why he was calling her from the other side. But when doesn't answer, he becomes concerned. He decides to break the door and tries to break it with a strong wood thing, but can't because the doors here were strong. The girl brings Karen to a dark room, and when the door of the room closes, the door of the room opens where Karen's dad, 
Melanie and the doctor are present. That means all the rooms are connected. If a door will close, the other will open automatically. That girl was asking Karen to come behind her continuously, and she was also moving ahead while weeping. She reaches the weirdest place, which was a library, and the voice asks her to find the master key. Karen starts looking the things around. There were the strange things used to do experiments here. Karen sees a dead body, but it was covered. The dead body was kept here for experiments. As Karen removes the cloth, she gets scared to see its condition and screams loudly. They come out and start looking for Karen, but this place isn't less than any labyrinth, and they were moving ahead continuously. The dead body near Karen disappeared suddenly, and when she reaches another room, there was a skeleton, and she hears terrible voices. The voice is like someone is growling, and then she moves ahead to another room, being scared. She closes the door of the previous room so that whoever was there wouldn't come inside. The one who was making voices starts knocking at the door, being scared that he may come inside while breaking the door. Karen hides at a small place made on the wall, the place where the dead bodies were kept. Meanwhile, the man with the terrible voice comes inside, the place where the three are standing. A door opens. They come inside, and the door closes as they move inside. There was a projector, and they find out from the timer that they have 35 minutes left. Means the game is still on. Karen's dad turns the projector off to turn the timer off, and says, "I don't want to play any game because I have to find my daughter who is lost here." There were two dangers for Karen. First is there was the dead body near her, and the scary man has also come inside. Surprisingly, the dead body was reviving and moving. Seeing her life in danger, Karen gets scared, and her condition gets worse because of being panicked. The doctor finds a box with numbers, means they have to find numbers to open this box. They have to find them in this room. Karen's dad was checking this place and comes to another room. During this, we see a shadow passing behind him, but he couldn't see this. Karen sees the dead body has revived. Now the hand of the dead body was slowly moving to Karen. That's why she prays for her life and starts saying, "Save me!" in a low voice. Here, the doctor was thinking from where he will get the numbers of boxes locked. Suddenly, his mind gets an idea and thinks, "When we come here, a few numbers were written on the fan. Maybe those were the lock numbers." And now they think of throwing the projector light on the fan to see numbers, but they can't do so because the projector was fixed there and can't be moved from there. They see the mirror and get an idea. They throw the projector light on the mirror and reflects the light on the fan due to it. They finally get the numbers. They put the numbers on the box and opens the lock. They get a new key from it. This was the key of the next room. And while opening it, Karen's dad and the doctor come out. But Melanie doesn't leave because she has noticed a strange thing in the projector. She saw her video in the projector, in which she was roaming and coming again and again in this projector room. Seeing it, she gets surprised that what is going on, but she ignored while considering it a glitch. We notice that she is actually stuck in a time loop. The same thing was repeating. That's why she reaches there again and again. Karen's dad and the doctor come out to go to the next room, and Melanie also moves behind them. But she couldn't leave this place. She tried many times to move out, but she again reaches the same place. This happened many times, and she was now stuck in this room. As she has seen in the video, means she has seen her future that is happening to her now. But why this happened? We will get this answer further. Karen's dad starts fighting with the doctor and becomes furious at him and says, "I think you are involved in all this. Why are you doing this?" Seeing this, the doctor also becomes furious, and he says, "While leaving his hand, are you mad? Why would I do this? You have gone mad, so stay away from me." Melanie, who was stuck in the loop, sees her husband's dead body. Means when he was taken out, he didn't go out, but he was killed. Melanie panics to see his dead body. The hand of the dead body was near Karen, but before he could hold her, luckily, the doctor comes in that room, and at the right time, he takes Karen out while opening the door. As she comes out, the door closes. Karen asks, "Where is my father?" The doctor replies, "I don't know." And Karen says, "The game head said that the inventor returned and he wants to end us. So tell me who could be the inventor? Who you suspect? But truly speaking, I doubt you that you are that inventor and wants to end us. Tell me is that true? And what is the purpose behind this?" Karen suspects him because, except for the scary man, none knows that Karen is in that room and the doctor came and took her out. That means he knew that Karen is hidden there. He came here alone and didn't bring her father. The doctor explains that there is nothing like you are thinking.
I just heard you scream, so I came here, and because the doors were open, there is none to end us, because this is just a useless game, and it will end after a while, and we will be taken out of here. Melanie, who was stuck in the loop, hears the bell ringing, and when she picks up the receiver, she hears her own voice and asks for her husband without thinking. When she talks to her husband, she asks him to run, otherwise, it will be bad for you and you will be killed. Here, there will be a lot of questions raising in your minds that it has happened before. So now again, why is this happening? Let me clear as we know this is a time loop and Melanie is stuck in it. That's why she is able to see her past loop, present and future. That's why she is seeing her past or future. When Melanie picked the call and was talking to herself, she was actually talking to the future Melanie. That is what's going on here. Now, because this Melanie knows all the dangers, so she was asking her husband to run away and the future of that time is now present. So Melanie is stuck there. She feels someone's presence and a few shadows were irritating her. That's why she tries to escape while climbing up a wooden ladder. Meanwhile, the ladder breaks and Melanie falls down and a cutter was stabbed in her head. Due to it, her head popped and this was her painful death. On the other hand, Karen and the doctor were finding the key to exit this place. Karen finds papers on the table. It was written that the object is inside the belly. Object means a special thing during this. The doctor finds the way to move out. It was a small tunnel, but locked. They start looking for its key in the room. The doctor sees the commode and feels the key is inside. He says the people here were filthy, so what else can we expect from them? The key will be here, and saying this, he puts his hand in the commode, then he holds someone's cut hand. He gets scared and throws back the hand. But now, Karen courageously puts her hand inside. She takes out that hand, and it finds out that it was a fake hand. She again puts her hand inside and finds the key. She takes it out and opens the lock of the tunnel. As it opens, they move inside the tunnel, hoping that there will be the way to go out. Karen was ahead and the doctor was behind. Meanwhile, someone attacks the doctor. He pulls him with him and then ends him. We can hear the screams of the doctor, but we didn't see who has ended him. Karen, who was scared, moves ahead. Karen's dad comes to the room while walking where Melanie was killed. He also sees her husband's dead body. Meanwhile, Karen also reaches here through the tunnel. They come in front when they hear each other's voice. They met after a long time after being missing, and they find out while talking that there is none left except for them too. They all are ended. Karen was scared, but her dad hugs her and consoles her, saying, don't worry, I will take you out from here safely. Karen's dad notices that the room is in its same condition, means the box was again locked and the fan was also on and the timer again starts. Now, because they already know everything, so Karen's dad turns the fan off. He takes the key while opening the box's lock with the numbers, then came out. Now they come in the first room? That clearly means now they have to solve the puzzles again. They knew all the puzzles, so they come to the clock room while solving it, and then came to the storeroom while solving the puzzle there. They see the game host was still sitting there being injured and seeing her injured belly. Karen remembers when she read on the paper that the object is inside the belly means the key will be in the game host's belly. Karen's dad moves her aside and courageously puts his hand in the belly and finds the key. He immediately runs from there while taking it because the time was short and they have to leave while opening the lock somehow. They find a door and opening it, they reach the hotel washroom the hotel where they had food. Karen tells her dad that she has come here before. Meanwhile, they feel someone's presence, so they hide in the washroom. And when they peep outside, they find out there was Karen, and she was doing the same she has done before, means washing stains from her clothes. Now Karen, who was outside, suspects someone. So when she opens the door and moves inside, the waitress from the front bathroom comes out, they were watching Karen outside because they were the past. It was the future for Karen outside, which she had seen before. Like previously, Karen's dad calls her, so she left. After it, they come out and see everything is same in the hotel like before. Karen says while reaching out of the hotel, Dad, our car has been repaired. They hurriedly sit inside it. Karen's dad was looking for the key, but he sees a surprising scene that the car door was locked and there were many other locks. Those were looking strange. That means they are still stuck in the game. They have come out of the house, but don't know how many more puzzles they have to solve to leave this town? Maybe they may never come out? We'll get stuck in the loop world forever, 
and then will be killed like it happened to others. That's why the name of this film is No Escape Room. Means once someone come in this game, he can never escape as it happened with the five people, they were ended here. None can escape from this game and experiments made by the psycho inventor. He has spread the souls of the people everywhere. Even his soul comes here to end people so that they will stay here as souls. The dead ones are his prey on whom he done experiments or the one who gets stuck here and died in the escape room. He includes their souls in his team to make a huge army of souls. This story ends here with this suspense 